Bow with Revlon Report today. Just wanted to review my Honda Civic. It's got over 65,000 miles now, 2016, 10th gen. What I like most about the car is it's super sleek, modern, um, great lines. I've installed HID lights over the factory halogen lights. I prefer the white lights as opposed to the yellow lights. Also want to point out, these are the factory tires. I'll let the wipe zoom into the tires real quick, but yeah, you guys can see the tread. I have not replaced the tires yet, and it's got 65,400 miles on it now. So pretty good. It can probably go another 5,000 miles before I have to replace it. It gets great gas mileage. Love the gas mileage. Love the fact that I can fill up the tank for like 14 bucks now that gas is only a dollar sixty cents. But let's hop inside and I can talk about the interior. On the inside, really love the digital gauge that Honda put in here. Haven't had any issues there, it's been pretty reliable. The infotainment system has been great. One thing I will point out though, this, um, I, I don't know what I would call this. I think Honda was trying to do like a brush aluminum, but whatever the um, coating that they put on it is starting to crack. So love you Honda, but we got to do better here. Overall, the car has been really reliable and dependable. No major issues. There were a couple just maybe annoyances really. But when I drive the car and uh, sometimes when I'm at a drive through or at a stoplight and have the AC running or turns off, the car will start um, the steering wheel will actually shake pretty badly and I think that could be due to maybe the RPM is uh, just running too low or maybe the motor mounts. Not sure what the issue could be but I think maybe a little reprogramming of where the car idles. Maybe just idle ta a tad higher and it probably would fix the issue. The infotainment, back on the the infotainment, it's been uh, it's been great. No 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 major issues. A couple of times I had to reboot the uh, system because the camera froze on me when I was using the turn signals. So basically, when I use the turn signal and then it turns off the, it would stay on. Or one time the. Uh, rear camera lines, the guidelines in the rear camera had uh, stayed on and so I just had to reboot the uh, the system. Basically uh, how, how you reboot is you just push and hold the audio button, the, the power button and it will ask if you want to do a reboot and just hit yes and it, it takes a moment but uh once it restarts and you see the honda emblem it basically solved that issue now i must say i really love the apple carplay feature on this car basically eliminates the uh, need for a navigation option because i can pull up my phone's navigation Apple's map or, or Google's map and it just displays the map on there. Uh, I've also hooked up an aftermarket sound system to the stock stereo and sometimes when you hook up an aftermarket stereo system or subwoofer it may not sound as good as if you were to have a aftermarket stereo but uh, it's actually sounded really good. I have the EXT model, so cloth seats, but it comes with heated seats. So that's really nice in the winter time. 
really enjoyed that. You also notice that my passenger airbag light is showing off and you know there's no button for it or anything it's just a sensor in the passenger seat that uh, determines the weight of the passenger and it automatically turns it off um, or on just uh, depending on maybe the height and the weight of the passenger but what I do have is uh, my child's car seat here front facing car seat and so it uh, is able to determine that the weight is not uh, um, sufficient enough to handle an airbag so it uh, turns it off it deactivates it and then also when my son is sitting there he's about a good maybe 35 pounds and even with this car seats weight and his weight it still turns off the airbag so that's that's awesome that's a great feature that i really love so there you have it overall i've been really happy with the car just a few minor issues but i would say that the positives have more than outweighed the negatives so i would say honda you've hit it out of the park with this one and i'm looking forward to more miles and years in this car.